and it took about um, three years to complete the study. The study was a comprehensive assessment of the 81 kilometers of the Gambian coastline, which was suffering from erosion in most parts and secretion on the Barra end. At the completion of the study, we, it took another um, two years to mobilize the funds to implement the recommendation of the study, and that is what we are seeing now. So it's been a long, uh, the history of the project goes, like I said, way down in the early 90s. But thank God now we, have, we, are, all, we, are, we are there. We are implementing the solution and uh, we have been able to mobilize all the funds from the African Development Bank and the OPEC fund mm -hmm. um, to implement the project. It was not very easy. But I, like I said in my presentation, we really owe a lot to our, to our head of state, the president, for giving us all the support to be able to uh, um, access the funds. We were losing one of our, uh, uh, our main attractions, that is the beach. The, uh, one of the main attractions for tourists to come to the Gambia is the open beach that we have. And losing it means we are losing a vital uh, uh, ingredient of tourism because we don't have uh, much uh, to offer to the tourists except our wide beaches and peaceful beaches. And all that w was going out. The conclusions from the consultancy report embodied what is certainly the most ambitious sea defense project ever undertaken here. Three of four major areas were marked for urgent but comprehensive action. The project design has taken into account on a case-by-case -case basis the necessary course of action. Well, we have, we have three different places. We have the, the, the Banyo uh, Sand Spit, the Banyo Beach of the Sand Spit, and we have Cape Point, and we have the, the Senegambia Kairuba area, the hotel area. And we have looked for each location in, in, in a proper solution to, to find for, for, for the location itself. Yeah? Uh, <coughs> the beach investment with sand is, is quite, a, quite a cheap solution. Yeah, it's, it's a quite, uh, compared to rockworks, it's much cheaper. And that's what we did at, at Coroli. We have uh, designed about one million cubic meters just in front of the, of the hotel area and just to put it in place and then uh, the erosion process will continue, but it, if you do that, then in, in 20, 30 years will remain that over there. And then in fact, then after that, according to how fast it goes, yeah, you should repeat it. But it is much cheaper than uh, building structures, rock structures. At K points, we have selected the rock structures because there is no possibility to, be, to, to do beach nourishment with sand. There is no beach. The contract was finally awarded to a Dutch international dredging company, Deep Break Vol. The $300 million a mega project finally got underway in September after some initial delays. But these delays could have been a blessing in disguise one way or the other. Contractually, we estimated 12 months. 12 months. But I can tell you, these guys are doing so well that in the revised program that they have just sent in this office, they are going to finish the job in eight months. Because if you look at their method statement and their list of equipment that they supplied at the time of tender, mm -hmm. they have actually tripled. At the time, they, we were told that a big dredger will come. But now we have seen three dredges. So they are trying to compress the time to finish this job basically because they see the urgency of doing something. And I think also because they had a lot of time in their hands to do all the familiarization and the searching of materials in the local environment. Because at the time of the, uh, of, of the conception of the, of the project, they did not know that they will find the rocks in the, in, 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 in the, in the Gambian area. Because now they're getting the rocks from Jack in, in Senegal. At one time, during the time of the study, there was even mention of getting the rocks all the way from Norway. Okay, so because of, you know, th that's why sometimes 
um, some of these delays in implementation of the project can become uh, blessings in disguise. In as much as we have suffered some setbacks in accessing the funds to start the project, but when, when we hired the contractor, mm -hmm. because of this delay, the contractor was able to have more time in his hands and do more searching of the materials to be incorporated in the works locally and in the um, sub-region that it has impacted positively. Because once they started, they found out that they've got all the information they needed uh, to be able to compress the uh, uh, project by 30%. Because um, they were thinking of doing it between 12 you know, to 15 months. Now we are going to see the completion of the project by the March of next year, which is like eight months. At the Banjul and Kololi points, the defense mechanism seems to be the same. The process of sand nourishment is the most appropriate measure. It involves dragging sand from offshore to restore the beach. A range of sophisticated equipment is involved, and the result has been so far very impressive. Uh, on the whole stretch, when you make different distances, there is an erosion process going on. From on the Banyul beach from the sand spit area up to the city. So what we're doing there is we, we put sand, uh, let's say not so much sand at the Banyul site and a little bit more sand at the sand pit site. Yeah, because the erosion process is towards the city. And if we have we put sufficient sand, the sand what we put on the sand pit will be traveling due to the wave action which causes the erosion process. It will go up to go going along the whole coast up to Banyul and just this erosion process protects, protects the whole coast. So we put more sand on one side and we a little bit less sand on the other side because the every a sand what you put, at, for example, at the State House will be lost quicker than sand what you put on the sand pit side. Very, very difficult to do it because you have uh, you see it on the people over there and this is the beginning but when you are more or less 100 meters more in the